Hello everyone, hope you're doing wonderful today. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be making this beautiful resin clock. Let's get started. In this video, I'll be making the 3D flower with only alcohol inks, no opaque pigment. So the colors I've chosen are purple and yellow and I have uh, mixed around 80 grams of resin for the 5 inch coaster sorry this is the 5 inch clock mold out of the 80 grams i'll be removing around 8 to 10 grams for the white alcohol ink so i wanted to try you know a little uh, not common colors you can say purple and yellow just want to see how it will look uh, if it mixes together so i've removed around 10 grams of resin for my white alcohol ink just using the heat gun to remove uh, bubbles the resin has reached the right consistency for making the flowers so I'm going to be pouring the clear resin into the mold so with the clock mold one issue that I saw was uh, you're going to get a lot of air bubbles trapped in the number part. You know, wherever the numbers are there, there's going to be a few air bubbles. So uh, use a silicone tool to remove those air bubbles first. So I'm using a silicone tool like this one to remove the air bubbles. Use this instead of a toothpick. I think toothpicks will uh, scratch the surface of the mold so this is better. You can find this in uh, any resin art store. Once we get rid of the air bubbles, it's time to drop the alcohol inks. So I'll not be using the opaque white, I'll be using the white sinker alcohol ink, the one that you use to create the petri effect. I'm using the one from Beyond Inks, it's really good. So uh, along with the uh, white ink, I'll also be using a little bit of iridescent uh, pink powder. So this is, uh, you know, like your mica powder. It looks like an off-white color. But if uh, you uh, mix it with resin and pour it over a dark background, you get a different shade. So in this case, you get a pink shade. Mix the powder and resin really well until it's well combined. So you can make out uh, a little bit of the pink here. So <laughs> my lighting kept uh, going off. So please bear with me here. So once the powder is well combined, uh, we'll drop in the white alcohol ink. So I'm dropping around six drops, six to seven drops for 10 grams of resin. So shake the bottle really well before you drop in the ink. Since it's a little bit dense, you know, uh, the ink might settle down at the bottom. So mix this really, really well. So once you have mixed the white alcohol ink, immediately drop in your colored inks. So first a little bit of yellow followed by purple. Once you dropped in all the alcohol ink, allow it to spread nicely and then make your flower design with the white alcohol ink that has been mixed with resin. So I'm making a spiral design.
so again with the silicone tool tip by making the petal design so this tool is really useful guys it prevents uh, scratching of the mold by mistake you know do not use any kind of heat or flame over the alcohol inks immediately as you know alcohol inks are flammable so may catch fire so you can al already see the white ink spreading and coming towards the middle so i've i've done my design and i'm going to allow the resin to completely cure and we'll demold this tomorrow and uh, see how it goes it's been 24 hours time to demold first thoughts the yellow and purple have mixed and i see some dark pink color let's see the opposite side and here it is oh wow so the yellow has become really light and and so has the purple i think the iridescent pink has uh, interfered a little bit looks cool and yeah uh, check out the numbers so i think the air bubbles i've not i didn't remove all the air bubbles so few parts of the v numbers are missing I'm just making the clock now so yeah let me know what you think about this guys how do the colors look i think it turned out cool let me know what colors i should try next in the comments down below If you're new here please do subscribe. If you want to buy me a cup of tea the link is below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. I'll see you soon in the next one.